है गाइज हेलो एंड वेलकम टू माई YouTube चैनल अगेन सो वी आर अगेन डीलिंग विद द सोमैटिक सिम्टम डिसऑर्डर एंड हेयर वी हैव समथिंग विच इज कॉल्ड एज इलनेस एंगजाइटी डिसऑर्डर सो अगेन वी हैव सोमैटिक सिम्टम डिसऑर्डर एंड बाय दिस टाइम यू मस्ट और यू शुड नो वट इज द सोमैटिक सिम्टम डिसऑर्डर वट आर द सोमैटिक सिम्टम डिसऑर्डर एंड अमंग द सोमैटिक सिम्टम डिसऑर्डर वी आर गोइंग टू लर्न द इलनेस एंगजाइटी डिसऑर्डर इन दिस वीडियो सो वी हैव टू लर्न द इलनेस एंगजाइटी डिसऑर्डर नो यू टेल मी वट आर द अदर डायग्नोसिस विद इन द सोमैटिक सिम्टम डिसऑर्डर और वट आर द अदर टाइप्स ऑफ सोमैटिक सिम्टम डिसऑर्डर या we have something which is called as somatiform disorder that was covered in the first video we have something which is called as somatiform disorder which was covered in the first video we have something which is called as conversion disorder which was covered in the second video and third we have the illness anxiety disorder now there is another name of illness anxiety disorder and who will tell me now yeah illness anxiety disorder is also called as hypochondriasis chondriasis so it is also called as hypochondriasis so now let's look at what is the illness anxiety disorder in case of illness anxiety disorder what happens over there is that there are symptoms like there may be headache okay or there may be any other stuff but the patient is not concerned about the symptoms just focus this thing the patient is not concerned about the symptoms he or she is not concerned about the headache he or she is not concerned about the vomiting but what is the patient concerned about is what is causing those symptoms like what is causing those symptoms like doctor do i have a cancer doctor do i have a sle doctor do i have something called as rheumatoid arthritis she or she is concerned about the disease and that is what is causing addition to his anxiety again for example let's say we have a headache okay so we'll we'll simply uh, think that it is due to tension or it is due to stress or it is due to any other thing and uh, we'll take some medications and uh, it will relieve okay it will be relieved but in case of illness anxiety disorder what happens is the, that we are not concerned about the headache but we we are concerned that is is it a cancer that is causing my headache do i have a tumor in my brain that is causing the headache and because of that thing i am getting anxiety and to relieve the anxiety i'll go to the doctor and i'll say to the doctor that doctor i might have a tumor you 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 you, you must do all the investigation you must do all the labs the doctor will say that you don't have to worry it is just a headache you don't have to worry but you are not relieved you are not relieved you will go to another doctor and you will say that doctor i went to a previous doctor and uh, he didn't examine me nicely and he didn't pick the disease which is causing the headache uh, the doctor will say that you are not having a disease actually all your labs are good all your tests are good why are you thinking that you are having a disease so you are not satisfied with this doctor also you will go, you will go to some other doctor so that is what is happening in the case of illness anxiety disorder so you have illness that is headache which is a minor thing that is causing anxiety because you are overthinking about why is this disease what is what is causing those symptoms yeah so that is what is called as illness anxiety disorder and the classical scenario in your exam will be some patient preferably a female who is going to doctors from past so many months just because of headache and uh, she is complaining that the previous doctors they have not examined her correctly and that is why they have not reached the diagnosis so you reach the diagnosis and it is illness anxiety disorder think over it again and uh, you know just uh, just just try to imagine those situations in which you being a medical uh, student had some anxiety about a normal symptom just thinking about it may be due to that uh, that disease or stuff like that so you know every one of us gets anxious 
of you know symptoms but what makes a thing disorder is your ability to work so whenever your ability to work is decreased then only we get, we call it as a disorder otherwise we will not call it as a disorder for example every one of us feels slow feels unmotivated at some times it is perfectly normal but what is major depression is that feeling low that feeling unmotivated increased sleep you know uh, lack of interest in the activities but also our decreased ability to do the work which we were supposed to do normally so that is what is the major depression and stuff like that let's leave that thing and come to the illness anxiety disorder you are clear about the illness anxiety disorder that the patient is not concerned about the symptom he or she is concerned about the disease and taking too much anxiety about that stuff although everything is perfectly normal so this is the illness anxiety disorder another you know another disorder among the somatic symptom disorders thank you so much for watching the video if you happen to like do press the like button and also share it among your friends